The one thing I still have from my childhood is... But something from my childhood that I still have is the notebook that I used to write down in all of my favorite anime cartoons and the lyrics of their opening songs. I still have my first wallet. I had my first paycheck and everything. It's, uh, it's quite nice. We'll keep it. I collect uh, different postcards and some specific things uh, which I put on the wall. So I have them here and they just build up over time. A little necklace. Um, that my dad gave me a, l a long time ago um, and I kind of wear it on special occasions, especially when I miss him. So I have a special box with uh, small things from my different periods of life that was very important for me. Sometimes my wife saying, oh, you keep this garbage at our home because it really looks like a box with different garbage. What's integration? Like, can you define it? Like, is there any, like, one, two, three steps for it? For me, it was the opposite way. I felt very integrated when I came and then it just kind of was like, oh, okay, maybe I'm very different than these people. <laughs> if so one person wants to integrate in the society, they have to be willing to actually do the things local way, not the way that I'm supposed to be doing it from my own uh, individual perception. Integration... It's it's not a word I I I particularly like. I think it puts you in this little box of having to finish up a checklist of what counts as belonging to somewhere. Integration is not um, is not just learning the language. It's not learning about the culture. It's not just about going to work and so on. I think integration is um, a word that is really overrated. Over time, I became accustomed with the people and I found that I actually fit in with them quite well. Um, my lively nature uh, was really welcomed by the locals and I found that we have a similar sense of humor. It is really strange time for me at the moment because I'm applying for a UK citizenship. So I am becoming British, but in a way I sometimes really struggle to connect with um, sort of the values and the outlook of uh, local people. I decided that Warsaw will be my home and I decided that I need to actually to do something uh, to feel it like home because if I always will be feeling that uh, I'm a stranger here it would be very difficult for me. I don't want to be tourist here. In order to make myself feel at home I will need aspects of my culture to be around me. So food makes a huge difference. Um, gravitating towards people who are just as open-minded as you and, for, and maybe also from your community can make a difference. I want to be involved in as much possible things what we are doing in the city so I'm always searching for uh, volunteering opportunities in the city. I actually went to the city hall asking them if you need somebody who will help you with uh, food uh, packages for the senior people uh, during this pandemic time, I would love to help you. I have to say then uh, I feel privileged. I feel uh, I'm very grateful that I can live in Czech Republic. So that's why I'm trying to treat them well, with dignity. But of course, then I know my value, and I know, of course, that the big advantage is that I, that I know Czech language, so I can defend myself anytime. So oftentimes it's mostly about, okay, how do you integrate into our society? How do you learn the language? How do you start behaving more as a thing instead of putting more responsibility on the society itself of being more accepting? for different kind of people. Integration for me is a two-way street. So I need to make a conscious effort to integrate into that country that is learning the language, understanding the different social and cultural norms. But I also think that it comes from the other side where the people that I'm now living with or the host country make an effort to understand me. I think um, the word that we're looking for is uh, inclusion. So we need people to be able to maintain their culture, maintain their language. People should be allowed to do that and allowed to have both languages, both cultures. Integration is kind of a step-by-step -step process. 
Belonging is more of a feeling that maybe comes gradually over time and that's also a feeling that people can give you so they can make you feel like you belong, they can make you feel welcome. When the airplane lands, do you feel like you came back home? And that's more or less um, for me what belonging means.